Previously on Jurassic World The Game, The Story. Claire, the journalist, has finished her article. She expresses confidence in the work we're doing here. Well then, let her know she's welcome to stay for a while longer and enjoy the park. All expenses paid, of course. Hey, it's Kevin DeWitch here and welcome to the Past His Prime YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel and you're interested in relaxed, casual gaming for an older generation, then please subscribe to my channel. Like the video and click the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos. Episode 5, Best Laid Plans. As a leader of security, I'm trained for battle situations. The Trobogonethus is an agile flyer, so this trait is sure to impress visitors. Passed with flying colours. In order to remain stable, our food production must increase at the same rate as our dinosaur intake. For our next stop, I'm taking you on a special tour of our control room where your aunt works. Will we get to see Aunt Claire? Why? She doesn't seem too concerned about us. Episode 6, Power Play. Young man, how are you enjoying the park so far? Dude, what's it to you? It's important that all our guests have a good time here. That's what my noble predecessor always said. Your guests? You the owner or something? Uh, Zach, this is Mr. Mizrani. He made everything you see here possible. Not to mention he's one of Finance 500's richest CEOs in the world. He is? Look around you, these dinosaurs were all born on Isla Nubla. They're developing natural instincts just like their ancestors millions of years ago. It's our responsibility to safeguard their development. I have authorized Dr. Wu to enlist your help in selecting a dinosaur for our upcoming cloning project, codenamed Ares. Before I begin experimenting, I'll need suitable test subjects to work with. Your choice, of course. Mr. Maserani, how did you do it? Become a billionaire, I mean. I'm a self-made man, Zach. I see something I want, I go after it. I never waited for anyone to hand me my fortune. Mr. Maserani, I want to be a self-made man too. Rich like you, I mean. Will you please teach me how? Hmm... Now that the new dinosaur assets have arrived, let us see how quick their natural instincts are on the field. It's time for another matchup in the arena. I think you like what I've got planned. Excellent choices. My previous employer, John Hammond, was known to favor certain species over others. I request ACU guards to escort these assets back to the pound. Did ACU receive my memo about a shipment that was supposed to arrive this morning, specifically cargo 347A? ACU forwarded the memo to me and I had the cargo impounded at Liberia International. It wasn't on the manifest. You know the rules, Mr. Masrani. Hoskins, I respect that you run a tight ship, but I'm asking you to release this shipment immediately. What's inside is my concern. Which concerns all of us. Do you understand? I'll see what I can do. Did you know about this? What? You speak of the new carnival? Of course not. I'm as surprised as you are. Alright, let's not. You're supposed to be on top of every carny coming through our gates. They can't even vomit without you knowing. Do your job, Barry. 
Someone overruled you and me. They bring untagged dino assets here at any moment, and you blame me for that, Franchement. Okay, just to pause for one second, because I had to look this word up. It's French for frankly. Fellas, it's done. Let it go. Worker bees shouldn't concern themselves with the affairs of the Queen. Who are you talking about? Who authorised that cargo shipment? Hey Zara, I'm running late. I parked my bike in the executive spot outside. Won't be any trouble, right? Uh, that's usually where Miss Daring parks. I'm not so sure. Even better, I won't be long. Dr. Wu is expecting me. I'll be gone before the boss even notices. Fine, but you owe me. Episode 7 Side Effects Welcome to the lab, Owen. Make yourself at home. Nice digs you got here. Listen, I had a favour to ask. How many of those Velociraptor embryos do you have in the freezer? Plenty, why? Don't tell me you finally got your approval. You bet I did. All the government papers are here, signed in duplicate. Someone in the US Congress still likes me. Excellent. When can we start the training program? The one you proposed last year. Today, but keep this on the down low for now. Aunt Claire says Jurassic World receives over 50 million visitors a year. With so many people in the park, it's important that air quality is maintained. Not just for people either, but for the dinosaurs as well. It's time for another matchup in the arena. I think you'll like what I've got planned. How are we doing? We had three Velociraptor embryos maturing. We lost one this afternoon. Nothing we can do about that. Sometimes it's a real crapshoot. I had my assistant fertilize two more. As per protocol, they're all female by the way. I'll let you know once they're baking in the chamber. Thank you, sir. Oh, and let me know when they're ready to hatch. That's my favorite part. Will do. The new Velociraptor pack will hatch any day now. I came up with a custom-made habitat for these girls, but I'll need your help to build it. Owen, oh, you're just in time. There's someone here waiting to meet you. I'll have ACU bring her in. Okay, I'm ready. Meet Blue, the newest member of your Raptor response team. Hiss. Claire, we keep crossing paths like this and the whole village will start gossiping. This visit is strictly off the record, I can assure you. Mr. Grady, there is nothing going on between us. You're wearing perfume. I beg your pardon? Perfume, come on, you ain't the first woman I've ever tried to get my attention. It's why you're here, isn't it? Mr. Grady, I'm here to track your movements in the last 24 hours. Every facility, every building. You can either tell me or security. Your choice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did I do this time? As of last week, there are shipments of dinosaur assets unaccounted for in our delivery system and your name came up. You're kidding me, right? You were the one who authorised untested, unvaccinated, unrestricted dinosaurs into our facility last week. Here's some free advice. You'd be a lot more attractive if you didn't blame me for every bad decision you made. Mr. Grady, you are the most pompous and arrogant human being I have ever met. Pompous and arrogant mean the same thing, Harvard. Have you seen some of the service vehicles we use around the park? I love taking this thing out for a joyride. G-Class six-wheel drive SUV, 5.6 litre V8 engine, 540 horsepower. Oh yeah, she's a beast. We could go for a spin once we get her out of the garage, that is. Log entry number 21. Initial test positive on molecular reinforced subjects. 
Results are accurate, but I have yet to crunch a full systems model. Small scale iterations were shown off in Tokyo and Hong Kong yesterday. Typically dog and pony show. I expect good news when the boss returns. Episode 8, Project Ares. Welcome back, Simon. How did it go? The sake was to die for. You haven't lived until you've had it unfiltered and handmade. I brought back several cases for the whole team. How generous, thank you. I should mention Dr. Wu has been waiting to hear from you. He's rather anxious. Yes, I'm aware of that. He was texting me all day. Let him wait a bit more. We have some serious celebrating to do. Our partners approved of the new direction? Approved? They went wild when they saw the prototypes. They couldn't get enough. Signed the very same day. Ares officially has the green light. Look out the window, Zach. There's something I want to show you. Tell me what it is. It's a theme park? That is what you see, but what it is in reality is bigger than that. It is an enterprise, an empire, and every dinosaur we clone represents a major cornerstone. That is the difference between the haves and the have-nots. Those who have power and those under its influence, we see the world differently. So what? What does that have to do with becoming a billionaire? You'll find out soon enough. I want you to go and see what I have built. One must understand that perspective is everything. Zach, where are you going? I'm going to explore the park on my own. Stay here with Zara. But Mum said you're supposed to look out for me. I don't care what Mum says. I'm not going to drag you everywhere I go, okay? Take care of yourself for a change. Jeez, Hoskins, don't you feel hot in that get-up? It's so muggy around here. I'm used to it. In the Syrian desert, I used to climb mountains and hide in the crevices to escape the intense sun during the day. I would control my breathing to conserve oxygen and not draw the attention of insurgents below who were looking for me and my men. Sounds like good times. Whew. Somebody needs to fix that environmental controls on the island. You know Isla Nubla isn't a real island. Uh, what do you mean? All right, well, hopefully that was enjoyable. Please remember, if you like what you see here, subscribe to the channel, click the like button, click the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos. Go and check out some of my other videos here that are linked on the side. And I thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.